This is uh, Drew Neidhart, Carla Perla, Rachel Wong, and Harry Twazon. And I'm Jonathan Stewart, and we are ArcSol. And uh, our mission here is to design and optimize food self-heating solutions. We have two products, one being the UGREX, which is the product of an, opti of an optimization of the Unitized Group Ration Express, which is a rationing system used by the military that uses a reaction with magnesium and water. And uh, we optimize this by not only reducing the weight, but more importantly, increasing the safety by turning harmful and potentially explosive hydrogen production into energy by further reacting it. And this uh, product can heat enough food to feed 18 soldiers uh, from 2 to 50 degrees Celsius in 45 minutes. And our other project, our <laughs> product is the Calor Tray, which is a food service tray that incorporates phase change materials and vacuum insulation in order to maintain the temperature of heated foods for a longer period of time and mitigate costs of having to buy things like shaping fuel. Uh, the product, the performance of the Calor Tray is uh, that will maintain the temperature of food in it at about 43 degrees Celsius, which that depends on the PCM in use, uh, for about 45 minutes. Now, for the approach taken, we started off researching, of course, and uh, we found articles that were on the subject. For both of them, we made console models for the heat transfer uh, properties of them. And uh, for Things like structural stability of the steel for the calor tray and for the flow of the new water distribution system in the UGREX, we used SOLIDWORKS. For manufacturing economics, we used heuristics, we used price quotes. We also looked at videos to see for the manufacturing processes. There's a lot of metal working in it. It's, uh, we don't really have the background for that, but that's how we estimated that. And for safety and environmental and things like life cycle analysis especially, we use Simapro 7. For the manufacturing process, uh, for the UGREX, you start with magnesium, or magnesium and manganese dioxide. These are alloyed together in a ball mill and combined with a desiccant put into an intermediate storage. And filter paper is uh, treated with surfactant and dried, set up to be packets, filled with a reactive mixture, sealed, and then those get sent to packaging where they're enclosed in a watertight bag so that they don't get accidentally activated during storage or transportation. For the calor tray, you start off with a roll of 304 stainless steel. This roll is cut into blanks. The blanks are sent to deep drawing where they're drawn to the three metallic components of the calor tray. These are then assembled, trimmed, and welded together. After that, the top portion, there's a void in the top portion, that gets filled with PCM and sealed. The bottom portion gets evacuated and sealed. After that, it's brought to finishing, where it's ground smooth and polished nice and pretty and made ready for the consumer. For economics, we did the economics separately, making sure there's no overlaps, and then combined them. So we produced both products. Uh, both of the worst case and best case were done where they both had the worst case and both had the best case. For all of the cases, we have a fixed capital investment of about $1.1 million, a working capital of $214,000, and a annual production cost of about $7.8 million. And after all that, you get a net present worth of about uh, 18 million dollars, and even if our worst case, okay, even in our worst case, we still get 20, 24.6 percent uh, DCF ROR, and that considers things like increased material cost and lowered product value, as well as lowered uh, lowered sales. So, in conclusion, our preliminary design and economic analysis shows that producing UGRX and <coughs> The calor tray at a price of $130 for the UGRX and a $57 price for the calor tray is potentially profitable. And with that in mind, uh, we want to look at the next step, which is prototyping. And prototyping would be the way to make this go to the next level and get it ready for, uh, to make sure it's uh, technically feasible and uh, 
will be ready for sale. Uh, thank you guys, and uh, we'd like to make uh, special acknowledgments to Dr. Sinal, uh, Zach, Eddie, and uh, Ron, Dr. Raman, which helped us with the uh, comp cell modeling. Thank you, Roach, with his, uh, Rachel's uh, uh, God on. And, uh, and all our viewers, thank you. And if you want any more uh, detailed explanation, you can come see our poster. So thank you.